students how are you i hope you are well i also hope you are at home and you are taking preparation seriously isn't it dear student now i would like to introduce myself i am roxana bego assistant teacher english srimangal government girls high school srimangal molui bazar today i am going to taking an english first paper class for the student of class 10 okay let's start our main activities dear student i know you know this picture very well so from the very beginning of the class i would like to ask a very simple question can you say what is it i know your answer must be a tree a tree yes look at the tree the tree has many roots the tree has many roots do you know like this tree we have also roots but our roots are different from trees today our lesson is my roots dear student now open your book page no 152 unit 12 lesson 1 page 152 lesson 1 okay have you got it okay lesson 1 my roots have you got okay now look at here there are three picture of trains near komalapur railway station during eid vacation can you see what are they doing okay i am saying look at here some people are trying to get on the train heart and soul and some are hanging and some has fallen down it may be occurred serious accident but so what they have to go to their own home so they have taken taken the risk do you know why are they doing so they are doing so because the attraction of their roots now dear student go to section b go to section b follow me carefully i am going to read out the passages it is the religious festival of muslims in bangladesh it means happiness everyone wants to share their happiness with near and dear ones so most of the people who are living outside their homes for different reason have a strong desire to get back home during the eid vacation as a result there is a mad rush to board buses train launch for launches for their home this often causes transport accidents that take away many lives however this cannot stop people from going home to meet their family 
in-laws or friends. What makes people rush to their home in spite of serious hazard? This is nothing but people's desire to return to the roots. Do human beings have roots like the tree? The answer is yes. But unlike the roots of the trees, they are invisible. They lie in our mind. It's these roots that make a bond between us and family members. In-laws, friends, neighbors or even between us and the land where we were born and grew up. In that sense, our families, our land of birth, relatives, our culture, traditions or surroundings are our roots. And whenever we stay, we feel the power of our roots. It's our roots that developed our identity, making us what we are. When we lost that bond, we become rootless. Human beings who do not have any roots are a non-entity. In other words, they have no an identity. They don't know where they are from or where they are heading on. This offense makes them feel empty and lost. Dear student, I know most of the words are known to you. But now I am going to say some word meanings which may be new for you. Hazard, hazard. H A Z A D. It means it means danger. Danger. Or it may risk. Hazard means danger, risk, etc. Hazard. Danger, risk, bond means connection, bond means connection, relationship, not entity, no existence, no existence, had means advance, proceed, I know you are known, known to this words okay now dear student go to section c go to section c students look at there are four bubbles page at 153 have you seen okay now make Five or four question from the four bubbles. At first, you have to read the four sentences and then you have to write the answer. Now, write your answer in the comments box quickly, as much as possible. Dear student, have you written the answer? Okay, now check your answer with me. In first bubble, the answer is What is the main festival of the Muslims? Okay, second one, what does it mean? What does it mean? Me and third one, what are our roots? What are our roots? And fourth one, what 
does our roots do to us? Okay? Okay. Now. Now, go to section D. Okay? Dear learners, in the section D, fill in the grid with appropriate information from the text above. Okay? Grid means a pattern of state length. That means Okay. Now look at look at the grids. Here there are five grids in this side, and here there are five grid, uh, five grids in that side. Okay. Now take your pen and exercise book and and fill up the grids okay just right in this side that means our roots our roots make family bondings and then love to friends and third one, love to relatives. And four, develop identity. And five, full of birth place. Have you written? Okay. Now come to the problem of a rootless person. First one, not entity. Second, devoid of humanity. Devoid of humanity. And third, devoid of responsibility. And fourth one, no own identity. They have no own identity. And five one, feeling emptiness. Feeling emptiness. Dear student, have you written? Okay. I know you have written. Okay. Dear student, today we have learned about our roots. And they are very necessary for every man. If they make a man great without Roots, no man can proceed. So, they are very essential for us. And today we also learn, we have also learned how to make a question, how to make a question. I think uh, you will, you will describe any picture. Is it it? Okay. So, let us go our homework. Today, I have learned four questions for your homework. Number one, who is your house? Sorry, how is your roads and where does it lie? Okay. How is your road and where does it lie? Two. Who want to go back their home during festivals? Three. What is developed by our roads? What is developed? by our roots. Last one, number four, write two sentences about a rootless person. Okay? Have you written? Okay. Yes. 
Dear student, um, I think you have enjoyed the class. So, I would like to thank you and all the viewers. Thank you very much.